Welcome to the Crown Hills Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make pasta from fresh. I've just finished cleaning my um, work surface to get rid of any bacteria so there's no cross contamination with my food. Um, this is something I've done since I was a, a child, so quite close to my heart. All we've got here is 100 grams of zero zero flour, that's the best flour to make it with, and then we have one egg. All I'm going to do is make a little well in the middle of my flour. I'm going to crack my egg straight into the bowl. Okay, straight in. And then I'm just going to use my um, butter knife there just to start incorporating the egg and the flour. Okay, once that starts to come together, as it is now, I'm going to take that out. I'm going to get my hand in there and bring those ingredients together to make a dough. Okay, We don't want to knead the dough like we would if we were making bread or pizza. We want to just bring this together. What we're looking for is a nice smooth consistency. I don't think, maybe it might work. We don't want the mixture to be too dry and crumbly because we're going to have problems when we start to roll it out to shape the pasta. I think I'm going to need a little bit more egg. As you can see, that's coming together, but there's still quite a lot of dry ingredient in there. Okay, so for this, I'm going to crack an egg into a jug just so I can control the amount of extra egg that I'm going to put in there. Okay, so I have my jug and my egg. Crack that into my jug. Just blend that together a little bit. I'm going to just put a little bit at a time in here because it very quickly comes together. Okay. Okay, so work that in. Okay, that's all we needed, just that little drop. And just bring that all together. If it becomes too sticky and wet, this is feeling a little bit too sticky now. All we need to do is add a little bit of flour. So I've got some flour in a flour shaker. Keep your thick finger on the top. If the top comes off, you end up looking a little bit white. Okay, so bring that all together. Okay. It's still a bit tacky. it's too that's sticky right. it's going to get stuck when we're using the pasta machine if it's too dry and crumbly again it's going to fall to bits when it goes through the pasta machine so you have to look for that right consistency in between not being too dry and not being too wet okay we can get rid of this now and you can see now that that is quite easily workable now you may never have seen one of these before this is a pasta machine what we need to do um, is we're going to put this um, dough through the pasta machine. We're going to start off with a large opening and work to make it thinner and thinner and thinner. Okay. The way to do that is on this side here we have a dial. We need to start off at number one. You pull that out and you twist it to a number two. It will click back in place and that then brings the rollers further and further together so that your pasta becomes thinner. Before we do that, what I want to do is just to start my pasta off before we put it in there, I'm going to just give it a little roll out with a rolling pin to make it easier for me to get that working through. Okay, a little bit of flour on there so it doesn't stick with your rolling pin just roll that out. I'm not looking for it to be very wide because it needs to fit into that space. 
Let's turn that over a minute. Oops. See it's sticking, so we know we need more flour on that. And get it fairly thin so that it eases up the pressure of you using the machine. Okay. Let's give it one more roll over. Okay, we're good to go. So, the handle, there's a little hole on this side. You fit your handle in and you turn the handle, okay? We make sure it's on number one. And what I'm going to do is, again, make sure you've got flour on the surface so it doesn't stick to the rollers when it's in the machine, okay? Lift up your pasta. Um, pasta. I'm going to put the edge into the roller and turn. Once you've started turning though, keep the, the flow going. Okay, if you keep stopping, then you've got a tendency for the pasta to stretch. You might need to put it through one or two times. Usually what I like to do is fold it back on itself like that, um, just to get a smoother consistency going with the actual pasta. Okay. Now turn that to a number two. Just going to add a little bit more flour. Keep it from sticking. Okay. Turn that to a number three. Now, if the pasta becomes too long for you to manage, cut it in half, okay? I'm going to go to number four. I think after this one, I'm gonna cut this pasta in half. And try not to let your pasta sit on itself like that for too long because it starts to stick. And you can see now that that's getting quite long. So I'm going to just cut that in half. Okay, so that's on number five. You want it a nice thin pasta. And I think this point, that is quite thin enough. Make sure you leave it on a floured work surface. I like to put a little bit of flour on the top as well. Uh, and I'm going to show you two things with this. I'm going to show you how to make tagliatelle and I'm going to show you how to use that to make lasagna as well in another video. Okay, um, so this one needs to go through on a number five. Now to make this into tagliatelle, all we have to do now is add this attachment to the pasta maker. It's really simple. All you have to do is slide that on there, remove the handle from that roller, and in here, I don't know if you can see, we have some very, very small, thin, that, that's really good for making noodles, and then we've got the bigger one there which would make your tagliatelle. Spaghetti is somewhere in between the two, but we don't have that one. Okay, so we'll put that on there, handle in, and literally all we're going to do, I'm just trying to decide we'll use this one. All we're going to do is turn the handle like this, and as the pasta goes through, Okay. 
There we go. Now we have tagliatelle. Now be careful that you get these. Um, we have a wooden spoon usually to hang these off so that they don't stick. You need to pull them apart fairly quickly to stop them sticking together. And if you want to put those over a wooden spoon, like so, and then just spread them out. And then we have in the classroom, we will have a little rack to put your tagliatelle on so that they can start to dry out. They're actually better when they've slightly dried out, they're better, easy to cook with. Okay, so that is how you make pasta. Simple.